Hi everyone, Tom Wolf here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this warm analog style pad in Yuhi Diva. Okay, so as you can hear, we've got this really sort of warm analog style pad with a lot of ambient reverb behind it. And then on the mod wheel, we've got this kind of tremolo effect that comes in. Okay, so this is a preset called Time to Decide, and it's from my Soundbank Voltis for Yuhi Diva. I'm going to start this preset from scratch. So let's have a look at how to create it. Okay, so I've got an initialized version of Diva here with just a sawtooth wave. Okay, so first up, let's set up our envelopes. So I'm going to swap both of our envelopes to analog envelopes just because they're a little bit better for kind of creating those pad sounds than the uh, Moog style ADS envelopes there. So firstly, let's set up our amp envelope. So just going to just turn that down slightly. Okay, so we've got a slowish attack there, but not too slow. And turn the release up. So we've got a nice kind of long tail to that there. And I'm going to leave the sustain all the way up, um, but I'm also going to put in a little bit of velocity as well, because when you've got a pad, you do want it to be a little bit kind of velocity sensitive. Okay, so we've got the kind of basic shape of our pad there. So let's set up our oscillators. At the moment, all we've got is one sawtooth wave. So we're going to keep that sawtooth wave and we're going to turn the volume down just a little bit on it and put it about 75%. Okay, so let's bring in oscillator two. All right, so we've got oscillator one on its own there. We're going to turn oscillator two up to about the same volume, so roughly about 75. Um, we're then going to change the shape ever so slightly. So on the first uh, oscillator, we've got a sawtooth there. We've got it set to exactly five. So the cool thing about Diva is that, you know, unlike an original Moog, uh, you can actually kind of go in between the different steps between uh, the different waveforms. So you can sort of morph between the waveforms. So I'm going to set this to about 5.3. So it's just going to be uh, a slightly different shaped sawtooth wave. Okay, so you can kind of hear us, you know, offsetting that wave there. We're also going to turn the tuning up just ever so slightly. Just so we've got that kind of vintage, you know, oscillators slightly working against each other sort of sound. And then we're going to turn on oscillator three as well. So bring that volume in. I'm going to have that about half. So it's going to be a little bit lower than the other two, but I'm also going to push it up an octave as well I'm going to keep that you know detuned set to the center I'm just going to bring the shape down a little bit towards the kind of triangle side again just to sort of work those oscillators against each other so that's our oscillator section so now we're going to tweak the cutoff so let's bring that down and we'll start off by bringing it down quite a way to about there. And then we're going to have obviously a little bit of keyboard follow on it. And we're going to bring in envelope two. So with envelope two, we're going to have a long attack. And we're going to have a long decay. We're going to have it drop down quite a lot at the end of our decay. And we're going to have quite a long release on that as well. We'll also get rid of a bit of this keyboard follow. We'll leave a little bit. And we'll have it a little bit less velocity sensitive as well. So now we're getting that nice kind of deep, warm analog sound. We're also making sure to leave this on 24 dB as well, so we get that kind of full depth of that filter. OK, 
Okay, so what we also want to do is we're going to put this into unison. Okay, so the way we do that is down here in this section. So at the moment, we've got it set to six voices, one stack. So that's basically one voice working on its own. We're going to set the stack to two. So we're going to get two voices playing at the same time which gives us a thicker, kind of warmer sound. And because we've done that, when we've got six voices stacked uh, with just the one voice, okay, you get six voices. But obviously when you stack two voices together, you're only getting three voices. So we also want to turn that up to 12. So now we've kind of gone back to our six voices. But we can also bring the sound out a little bit more because it's still sounding a little bit dull so the way we do that is we use our pan mod so now that we've got stacked voices we can actually change the stereo panning of those voices so what we do is we select this and then we click stack index and now as we open that up it gives us some stereo width to it by essentially panning one voice left and one voice right and that really kind of brightens up and warms up our sound there. And let's bring the output down slightly. Okay, but we've still got a couple of things to do. So the first thing is the aftertouch. Now I didn't actually show the aftertouch in the initial uh, playthrough of it, but on the aftertouch of this patch, uh, we've actually got the cutoff being controlled slightly so you can open it up slightly if you apply channel pressure. So the standard way of doing this would be to just set up pressure on this, turn it up and then we get that. But that's quite abrupt and I, not a big fan of you know having these sort of abrupt changes on the aftertouch so there's a way we can kind of smooth this off so instead of having that set to channel pressure i'm going to set it to lag and over here under the modifications tab we have our lag so we can set the pressure to our lag and then we can kind of turn it up a little bit there so you can now hear it takes a little while it's a lot kind of slower rather than just kind of you know going straight into it it's a lot sharper and we could even change the lag and make it a bit longer if we wanted but I think I'll set it to about there so yeah we've got a nice little bit of kind of cut off opening if we want that and we can just make it a little bit more expressive by using that and the other thing of course is our tremolo as well so we're going to have our tremolo on lfo1 okay so we're going to use the volume mod for this it's already set to lfo1 so we want the volume 2 to turn down so i'm going to put that at about yeah about there minus 60. so if i play that now we're going to get a really slow kind of volume morph so i want a quick tremolo on this so i'm going to change the sync to 1 16th and then i'm also going to change the phase as well so that it kind of syncs nicely with our click track because we want it to uh the, you know the volume change to start in the correct place So we've got that really nice kind of tremolo sound there but obviously we only want this happening when we use our mod wheel so we're going to set up our depth mod to the mod wheel and then turn that all the way up so now if we're not using our mod wheel we don't get any we bring it in we'll use our mod wheel Okay, and last but not least, obviously we want that kind of ambient reverb sound. So we're going to use our plate too here. We're going to switch that on. Okay, we're going to leave our dry wet where they are. But obviously we want a much bigger sound here. So I'm going to turn my decay up quite a lot. Up to 94. Let's turn the size up as well. To about there. So it's going to be a pretty huge reverb. Maybe a little bit less. It's 
still quite a thin reverb sound, so let's turn our dampening down. There we go, now we're getting that kind of deep tail kind of running off on our release there. Lovely. Uh, let's keep our diffusion about where it is because that sounds quite nice, but let's add a little bit of pre-delay so that it's just kind of rolling off the pad a little bit more. Okay, so that was the preset time to decide from my Soundbank Voltis. Obviously, it's got this kind of really warm, lush pad sound to it, which just works so well um, in so many different contexts. So hopefully you enjoy creating this preset. Hopefully you have fun uh, doing it yourself at home. Um, play about with stuff, as I always say, you know, play about with different modules in here, see how the sound changes if you use a different filter or different envelopes, um, you know, see if you can set it up and get something similar with a different oscillator, whatever it is, just play about with the sound and, you know, move from what we've created here and start kind of trying to create your own pads as well. If you did enjoy the tutorial, uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you'd like to get the video straight through to your inbox, there's a link in the description. You can click that. It'll take you through to my website and then every time I release a new video, uh, you will get it straight through to your inbox. If you like this patch, please do check out Voltis. Voltis is 100 presets. They're all kind of based around sort of gritty cinematic stuff. Um, so yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, check it out. So thank you for watching and until next time, take care.